Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm doing here for you guys today, we go to the iPad, I'm doing the frequency polygon video I promised you. In other words, we want to know here, create a frequency polygon. To show you what exactly a frequency polygon looks like, well, your y-axis from algebra, this is where all the frequencies will be labeled. Still again, these are your data values, the horizontal axis. But what you're going to need to do, here's kind of a sketch. So you guys know what a frequency polygon might look like, right? You're going to have to plot points. Every one of these dots is a point. And it has the coordinate of the midpoint of the bin and the frequency of a bin. So it admits midpoint versus frequency from algebra. So all down here, you're going to find the midpoint values for every bin. So here's first midpoint. And if we are a little bit more careful with our sketches... Okay, here's the second midpoint. Third midpoint. Fourth, something like this, maybe the fifth midpoint. And your sixth midpoint. These are the these are the midpoints for every bin. So they're on the horizontal axis here. M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, and M6. And then you say, well, what about the the other values, well, that's your frequencies. So you're going to plot, ladies and gentlemen, midpoint versus frequency. Okay, so that's like the first thing you do. So this would be, for example, frequency 1, frequency 2, frequency 3, since it's the same, 4, frequency 5. So I'm looking at in green, first frequency, second frequency value, then the third frequency. So we're looking at all these points that we're plotting here. First point, second point, third point. Now the fourth point, of course, has a frequency value that's here. The fifth point. fifth frequency, the sixth point here, if they were six bins, we call that one F6 here, the same value. And then the last point here, if there were seven bins, this is F7. So the point I'm making is, you're going to have to plot the midpoint versus your frequency values. And then once you do that, the second step is going to be to connect the points, the adjacent points, with a straight line. So first point, second point, straight line. Second point, third point, straight line. Third point, Fourth point, fourth point, fifth point, sixth point. Oh. You guys get the picture? So you connect your points, the adjacent points, with a straight line. And then to complete this shape, draw a straight line to the axis, the horizontal axis. And what you're seeing here, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call a frequency polygon. Okay, so that's a frequency polygon. That's what we're talking about. All right, so let's see where, where we at here. Okay, you can hear that. Sorry about that. So this is the process. And you might say, well, how do I go about this? Well, you already have. Let's go back to this histogram that you use all these red values or boundary values. We talked about those yesterday. Boundary values. Okay. And 
the side values here, this is my our midpoints now. We need all those midpoints that we got yesterday. So the midpoint of the first bin from yesterday, if we go to the TI, right, 17 plus 21 divided by 2. We need midpoint for the first bin. So I'm going to put 17 plus 21 divided by 2. All those midpoints. The first midpoint was 19. So we can say, okay, 19 for the first midpoint. Now we can add the bin with the 5. 24. 29. 34. 39, 44. Because the bin width we seen yesterday was 5. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we need to do. So I want to say, focus on the midpoint versus your frequency values now. We're going to plot those values. And remember, the midpoints go are in orange. They go on the horizontal axis, the midpoints. So this is... We move that. Come on. Okay. 19, 24, 29, 34, 39, and 44. So these are all my midpoints for every bin. So we're going to plot these particular points. Now this is kind of, again... This is like from algebra, this is like the, the x-axis value and the y-axis value. So it's backwards. Be careful. We need 19, 15. And then 24, 11. We need to plot those points for every bin. There's six points to plot. The midpoint versus the frequency. So what I'm going to say, go back over here. Every one of those midpoints, believe it or not, is in the middle of these, we should say, boundary values and I think yeah it was orange let me make sure I have the right colors so here's that first midpoint for the first bin 24 would be middle here of that second bin 29 is in the middle of that third bin 34 39 are right in the middle because they're midpoints and notice 44 is in the middle of the sixth bin so I'm locating all of the midpoint values here for you guys. And 39 and finally 44. Now we have to plot the midpoint versus the frequency. So 19 and the frequency is 15 for the first one, right? So 15 is that first frequency value. If we look at the table, it's 1915 for the first bin. First midpoint, first frequency. For the second, it's 2411. It's kind of simple. If you say, okay, the midpoint's right in the middle, and then that dot, ladies and gentlemen, all of these dots are like on the top of your buildings here. Okay? So what I'm going to do now here is I'm going to take away these boundary values because we're going to draw a frequency polygon now. But the points are midpoints versus the frequency values. Okay, midpoints versus frequencies. They're all those blue points. And notice I already labeled those values here. So I don't have to put it on the y-axis for you guys. Yes, you might say 0, 0. And you might say, well, they're here, 0, 0. Okay, so the frequency values are there. So we can do that as well. But what we're going to do now is the second part. And you say, what's the second part? Draw now, after you plotted your points, draw your straight lines. Connecting the points. Okay, so you draw the straight lines connecting the points. And here's what that looks like again now. Straight line. Straight line. Straight line. Straight line. Straight line. And that's the second part, drawing the straight lines, connecting your points. We finally finish by drawing, I'll put it in red, create the polygon portion now. Draw these lines down to the axis again, and I don't need this line, whatever that is. So what you are looking at, ladies and gentlemen, again, 
is a frequency polygon. Polygon means closed shaped, and it's a closed shape, but it looks like something like this. So we did the two steps. We plotted the midpoints versus the frequency values. And ladies and gentlemen, connected the adjacent points with the line and closed it off in red to create a polygon. Now, the main purpose again for all of this, you say, why do I draw a frequency polygon? Right, you plot those midpoints versus the frequencies. Is so you can take a look at the, the distribution here. Okay. Now, since we moved on, I'm not going to talk about boundary values. That was already for our histogram. The whole point for you to do this is to see the area where you can conclude most of your data again. Most of the data, most of the area is on the left side. So when most of your area is on the left side, what we say again is the distribution of data values is right skewed. It's backwards in language. If most of the data is on the left, we call it right skewed. If most of your data is on the right, we call it left skewed, just like we said yesterday. Most of the data is on the right side. That's known as left skewed. Most of the data is in the center. We say the data behaves normally. Okay, so this is what I want to do. We, want, we, we plot the data. We draw pictures of data so we can actually, ladies and gentlemen, describe the data. And that's the whole idea, describing data. So when you communicate to people, you say, hey, guess what? We gather data on the ages of students. This is the data we gathered. Yes, that was the histogram, right? We created a histogram already. Now this one's a frequency polygon. You plot the midpoints versus your frequencies, like from algebra. Connect those adjacent points with straight lines. We see that most of the data is on the left. It's right skewed. That really just means our students are young. Most of your ages here, since the data represents age, right? Most of your age is down here. You, you guys are young. Look at that. Most of the class is pretty young. Young is relative. Okay, so here's the idea. This is what I want to demonstrate to you guys for a frequency polygon, but we ran out of time. So I'm going to actually upload this video for you guys, put the link. And now what you guys can do is, um, you know, review this. So I'll send you an announcement in Canvas so you guys can review this. And this is... Uh, Frequency Polygon. You guys have a great day. See you tomorrow.